With descriptive statistics, we aim to describe the main features of a collection of information. So say, for example, you were asked to summarize a collection of marks. And this could be taken from, say, an examination where a group of students was marked out of a potential score of 100. One way to summarize a collection would be to give a single mark that represents the central tendency of the set of data. We could do this in a couple different ways, such as ordering the data and then choosing the middle value. This is known as the median. Uh, we could look at the data set and choose the most frequently occurring value. This is the mode. Or we might take an average of all the marks, the, the so-called arithmetic mean of the data set. So in this video, we're going to be covering finding each one of these using Maple. So to begin with, I'm just going to load our student statistics package, such that we have access to the student statistics commands within our context menu. So I'd mentioned before, we have a collection of data, and these are marks taken out of a possible score of 100. So I can just load this into Maple. And if we were to find the arithmetic mean by hand, what we could do is just simply add all these up. Then divide by the number of observations in our set. So here we'll just divide by 10. So we can see here that the, the mean here is going to be 651 over 10. Or if we approximate this, so approximate this to five digits, it's roughly equal to a mark of 65.1. Now, of course, if we do this using the context menu, if I just call marks, right click here, choose student statistics, quantities, mean, value, we'll have the same value returned. And this is the same as if we were to do something like use the student statistics command called mean on marks to return that value, or use mean of marks numeric in order to get a floating point value. All right, now let's find the median of our data set. So let's again call marks. And we, take the, we find the median by looking at the data set and choosing the middle values. But what we need to do first is we need to go through and sort this data. So what we can do is we can right-click on our data, choose Sort, Ascending Order. Now that we have this sorted, we're going to be looking for the middle value. So to find the middle value, one trick, one trick to find that is to look at the number of data points in your set. So here we have 10 data points. And to find out exactly which value of these we're going to be using for our medium, we would use that number, 10, we'd add 1 to it, and then divide by 2. So this would give us a value of roughly 5.5, so 11, point, 11 divided by 2. And this would correspond to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in this way, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 in this way. So it would correspond to an average, or the mean, of these two marks here, 74 plus 72. So in this case, our median is going to be equal to 73. So again, we can find this over on our right side here by choosing student statistics, quantities, median, value. And finally, to find our mode, what I'll do, what I'll do is I'll borrow this sorted data set from above. I'll just copy it down to here. And when we're looking for the mode, what we're looking for is the most frequently occurring uh, value. So in this case, we look from if we start reading from the left over, we see that 14, 53, 62, and so on all just occur only once. But once we hit 75, we see that 75 occurs twice, and no other number occurs more than once. So what that means is that that means that by inspection, the mode of our data set is going to be equal to 75. So again, we can come back over to our left side and use the student statistics menu also to find this. But uh, one of the powerful parts about using the student statistics context menu is that we can not only return the value, but we can also choose to return something like a plot. And if we return a plot, 
becomes really clear what value is the mode here. We see here that all the rest of the values only occur once, but 75 occurs twice. Now what other tool for looking at these measures of central, central tendency inside of Maple is one of our math apps. So if you go into our tools menu, open up our math app guide, under the statistics subsection, you'll find the measures of central tendency math app. And this math app, first you'll see here, it covers how to find the arithmetic mean, median, and mode. And at the bottom, it has an interactive section. We can drag out our sliders in order to generate a random data set. So in this case, let's drag this out and choose 30 random numbers between one and 10. And we'll generate a couple of data sets here just to show you what this looks like. And then we can easily show the mean, the median, and the mode just by clicking these checkboxes here. 